the here. plug. This is really figured wood here, so I don't know just how much it's going to move or not move. It's also only been down on the ground for about a month and a half or so. So it's, it's freshly cut, very figured, and uh, so I want to keep this neck as round as I can. And uh, I'll do that with these plugs. Now, when, these, when you use these plugs, you have to understand that as this wood dries, you're going to have uh, some shrinkage on here. So, as, when you have this plug in here, you have to make sure you come back every day and look at it and pull it out, redo it, and just make sure that it's not going to get stuck in there. I have forgot them for a couple days and had to actually put it back on the lathe and cut them out because I could not get the things out. Luckily I didn't have a, a crack on that. So anyway, this saves a lot of work when I come back in, I don't know, three, four, five months, maybe six. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to start finishing this thing uh, out um, by uh, June. May or June. Here's a cutaway of a vase and I have the HK75 uh, set up to like like I was going to do some hollowing like I was going to come in here and uh, take out just a little bit right in here on my initial um, the hollowing with the spring on it, okay? So I have this set up and I have a straight line an invisible straight line between my spring and my blade, okay? And then the tangent line or the contour line is the exterior of the vase and it comes across here like this, okay? So I have this on the lathe and I'm going to set up to, to uh, uh, hollow it. Now, <clears throat> I put the tool over the top of it and I look straight down to this tangent line. And I want that tangent line, contour line, to run perpendicular between the blade and the tip. Okay. I'll bring this in a little bit closer so we can see. Okay, here it is. Okay, so I've set the tool over the top of the vase. I look straight down through here to the tangent line or the contour line to make sure that it's running perpendicular to this invisible line of the blade and tip of the spring. That's how each adjustment is set up to take out that part of the material that you're working on. And so I turn it over and I put this thing inside now which I can't see and here I am with a, a piece that I'm ready to do. I've got it in the neck. I gotta make sure it's gonna be okay. And now I'm ready to go ahead and and uh, take out material there. I'll do one more setting on this just to make sure that uh, you, you, you know what I'm talking about. So here you can see a tangent line again that is actually the exterior of the vase. Okay, I have my invisible line, the shortest distance between the, the spring and the blade, and then I have my tangent line which is perpendicular to that. It also, the shaft will fit through the opening and so this is just how you go on you can you can set this spring 
tip up according to your contour line that you are uh, in the the place that you are wanting to hollow you can set this up and it, as you want to and you might only go in this case this would only be a little bit that you could hollow out with this and you have to adjust it but that's okay because you don't you won't go through or anything if you you do this properly it's not that difficult and it's very very accurate you as you can see you can set it up you, to hit whatever part of the vase hollow form bowl whatever you're hollowing whatever part you want you can set this spring rod calipers up in the proper fashion so you can get an accurate measurement to what you want to hollow as long as you do that you're not going to go through you're going to come up with some very very nice pieces so I went